<laughs> Hello and welcome to MM Design. My name is Maria and today we're going to be talking about the fall winter 2021-2022 beauty trends. Let's get into it. Th this video is a part of my kind of the trends of uh, fall winter 2021 2022 as i mentioned and i have a bunch of videos to do with that uh, mainly having the colors the patterns of uh, shoes and bags accessories and actual trends and yes as i mentioned this is beauty so makeup and hair i used to do nails but they're really hard to capture and like see and search but if you guys would like me to analyze more of trends from maybe tiktok or instagram not from the runways then uh, let me know down in the comments below all right let's get started first we'll talk about the makeup <sighs> don't get scared about this first one but it, it, it's pretty scary so it's the color um i'm not talking about wearing this much color it's just you know an example gio batista yes that is an extreme but we're talking more of the versace kind of colors on the eyes having that very nice bright liner it's not really a liner it's like it's in a shape of a liner but it's quite wide so we see this in versace of course and uh we also see this in dolce gabbana just very bright eyes eye makeup it also kind of transforms into the kind of the blush or like the cheek this area yeah and having that very very bright usually in the pinks and the reds i haven't really seen anything in a different color than that vivian westwood had really bright uh, eyes and cheeks at the same time uh, cho chang has that uh, kind of the outer blush area as i mentioned simon rocha had a very kind of more of a subtler blush from the eye area all right, so the next one is the bold lip, as I am rocking one right now. I love uh, red lipstick. It's just such a classic one. But of course, red was not the only color on the runways. We see some interesting shade of yellow from Dior. We have a lots of different colors from a Dolce Gabbana. It, they had blue, black, well, of course, red. Vivian Westwood had a few of the red moments. Machino had some a really bright pink, uh, as well as more of, like lighter pinks. Balenciaga had really massive lips uh, that are like either black or red. Yes, I think a lipstick, a bright lipstick, is something that you can do very effortlessly. But unfortunately, with all the masks that we have to wear nowadays, I I, I rarely wear lipstick just because it gets on the mask and then it just it's a messy situation so probably by that time we all get vaccinated or not depends on you of course and maybe we will be able to walk around with no mask on is it gonna happen i don't know i don't know fingers crossed okay guys we need to have our lips breathe <laughs> All right, so the next trend is the goth eyes. So that's basically, remember Avril Lavigne? Yes, those ones. So really, really dark, black, smoky eye. Sometimes a little bit of a messy, smoky eye. We see this in um, Dior, Alice Olivia, Chanel, and uh, many, many, many more shows. We also see like more of a subtler, smoky eye, but that really dramatic kind of really thick outline with this little smokiness out there that's the main trend we will see a lot of y2k moments and i'm not very excited for those let me tell you what else what can i do nothing nothing i can't do anything Okay, so the next one is the graphic eyeliner. I know that I've seen so many of these looks on TikTok and just I'm 
really 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 hoping to try them out myself they're a little bit more difficult to do if you're not really into makeup just because you need to get that you know similar right proportions get both eyes to look identical and that can get a little bit tricky we see this in philosophy um in balma christine suriano anna kiki had very kind of like a little i loved it okay yeah so an eye eyeliner but creative eyeliner <laughs> So the next trend are the embellishments. Uh, remember when you were a little kid, well, I guess depends how old you are, I guess. We had stickers of like little rhinestones on phones, on like anything. We, we could even like put them in our hair. So that's basically what's going to happen for faces too so all of those rhinestones are coming back we see them like on the eyes just by themselves or maybe with an intense makeup look as well we also see those like little you know like tattoo stickers things on the body we see little dry flowers just kind of like attached it's fun uh, but how mature is it like would how mm, like i can see some people getting away with it who are past their 30s uh, but they need to be like on it it's not just like oh i feel like putting on some sparkles today you know <laughs> i totally understand if you feel like doing it and it makes you happy go for it but if you're kind of scared of what other people might think about you uh i would do that for sure but I don't care what people think, so here we go. The, the next one kind of follows into that sparkly situation are the metallics. I don't know how it follows, but it, in my opinion, it does. So we see metallics on the eyes, on the lips, so like even... Who, who did it? Yes, yes, you. Salvatore Ferragamo had body painting situation going on. Very interesting, like, outline of the lips. Uh, I can't say that I'm a fan of that, but it's something new, something fresh. It looks, like, a little futuristic, but then it kind of, if you don't see the shine, it looks a little bit like you, you're sick or something. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Zimmerman had a little bit like of a sparkle situation going on, I'm not sure. And of course we have Prada, which actually had both like two different eyes having two different metallic sheens, like one gold, one silver. It's very interesting. Um, would I try that on myself? Probably not. <laughs> I'm always looking at um, beauty gurus and how they do like different eye makeups, you know, like one would be pink and another one blue and I'm like, uh, do you actually go out like this in public <laughs> or is it mostly just for the views? Totally, if you're going to like some kind of a rave concert, whatever, yes, that thing belongs there, but real life, I don't know. Mm, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> if you're enjoying this content so far, please consider to like this video and subscribe to this channel as I've put a lot of time and effort into this. And for you, putting a like for this will take like a second. So yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right, you guys, now let's talk about hair. So I am a very, very happy with like a center part and all, <laughs> and we do still see it. Uh, but there are some interesting hair situations that are going on. Let's just let's just start. Not everything is bad. Don't worry. Okay, so let's start with a fringe or bangs. We see that like mostly the bang is very thick. And you know, it's not like just a few little hairs. It's like, if, if you do it, you're going to cut like a lot of hair off, okay? I actually had a pair of bangs when I was very little and I always wanted to go back, but then people would tell me, don't do it, you will regret it. So I didn't, uh, maybe one day, but probably not. Just because like, I already have a really square face and if I add a, my, a bang that is gonna be like even more squarer, is that a word? So yes, if you guys wanted to try out a pair of bangs, is it a pair of bangs? 
just bangs i guess then go ahead try it out we're still kind of partly at home partly uh, going out <laughs> so it will be fine people will understand maybe that was an experiment for you <laughs> so we see this in dolce gabbana valentino and a lot a lot a lot more a lot more yeah all right, so the next one are the braids. We see braids either like the corn rolls, is it? And we also see like little tiny braids and etro. We see just a full braid in other shows. I'm a fan of a braid. Most of my life, I wore a braid. I am like almost all the time with a braid. So I really enjoy this. Yes. And we also see these like little braids formed into really weird, interesting shapes too. So yeah, go wild. <laughs> uh, moving on to the next hair trend. As I mentioned, the center part, it's still here. It's still on the runways. It's very clean, very chic, very elegant. I like it, my husband hates it, but that's okay. That's okay. I, I usually put it like this whenever I'm not hanging out with him, whenever like there is a girls night or something, I just do my hair like that and walk away really fast so he won't notice. <laughs> but we do also see some side parts, those are there too, but I'm just going to stand my case. There is the proof. It's it's still, it's still good. You can still wear your hair this way. All right, let's get into the next one. The bob, yes. Bob is still with us and it's not going away anywhere. Bob, yes. More of a shorter haircut, that's the one to go for. Either with a bang or maybe without a bang, that's up to you. Uh, actually up to your face shape probably. So please maybe find a person who does hair for a living and ask them whether you should get a bob or a bang. <laughs> so for instance, I can't really have a bob that's my jaw length because it's going to make my face even more like squarish. So I would go for a longer bob just to kind of lengthen it out a little bit. So, but I don't think I'll ever go for a bob, honestly. I got one when I was like in first grade and it was the worst, worst mistake of my life. <laughs> I guess the next hair trend is the wet look we kind of see it all the time uh, but yes kind of having your hair really sleek very like maybe gelled up in like different ways i really like it i want to wear my hair like that one day but uh, i just don't like washing it too often so that's why i don't put a lot of product in my hair that i need to wash out but if you do like it maybe your hair is kind of a shorter one and it's easy for you to just wash your hair then yes go ahead and try that out for yourself okay so the next one is a little bit of a controversy in my opinion but it's the mullet 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 that's the but this time it's kind of party everywhere not just at the back <laughs> honestly so we have a, like maybe a little fringe at the front and having longer hair at the back or maybe even just like almost shaved yes so you're, you're seeing images we see a lot of that in the dolce gabbana uh rick owens vivian westwood and tom ford all right you guys so that's pretty much completes uh, the video. I know I would love to add nails, but because I don't see them on the runways, I can't really add them. And if you're interested in some of the more like street style trends that are going on, let me know and I'll think about having a series about those trends like maybe a separate one because not everything that comes from the runway becomes the street style if you know what i mean thank you so much for watching this video to the end if you did maybe comment down below your favorite shade of lipstick and like an emoji maybe i don't know <laughs> all right you guys uh, thank you very much for watching once again uh, please consider to like this video and um subscribe to this channel maybe probably have a great day and stay classy. Bye. I hope I don't have any lipstick on my teeth. Mm, I think I caught a little thread.
Okay. 